walk in, he don't see, he go like this, and soon he go like this, and I walk. You can tell with him right away. And you're watching for this, and you haven't subscribed to me yet, then make sure you're watching the film right now. Then, when I upload the new video, you will get the notification. Otherwise, let's start learning. Flow jump. Now, this movement here, it's very useful. When I learned this, when my one of the uh, teachers showed me some of the basic movement like this, it's very useful because it's corridor quite narrow, okay, in the corridor when you walk down there, and it, both sides, you can slam him into the wall. It's an accident. You didn't do it. It's accident. Break he got damn face and I remember I go like that so hard and he go forward and hit the hand and put the hand right into the door window like this and I cut the goddamn hand off. I didn't cut your wrist. You cut it to yourself and this is how you're dealing with bullying, you know. Let me show you here. Now when you walk like this, soon you keep your hand here. See, you gotta grab hold like this. Okay? So soon you touch, grab hold like this. Soon you grab hold like this down. Make your hand leg okay and then grab and then make the turn and then you now this situation here if somebody come along and put the hand to your chest it can be many different things can be there to push you can be there to many different things what do you do in this situation for me i control the arm then i'm gonna start to yank it in and make sure i'm gonna pass the elbow up so you're never gonna able to use the arm ever again what do you do on this situation here if you in that situation like I am here? Comment below here so hopefully I can learn something new today. Comment below and tell me. Just see how quickly your body slam. And this is why it's important to understanding it. Basic self-defense. It's very important to how to move one object to the other places because if you can see a lot of people there, you don't want to hit him, okay? If you hit him, then people see that you're hitting them, then you're gonna get your ass in detention. And I got enough detention in school that every day you're coming in, what are you doing? Got detention. Have you got a book? I gotta give them the book they need to write how good I am on that day. Okay, every day I could carry the fucking book like that with me. Every lesson I go to, giving to the teacher. Every lesson, let's just write down how I behave. I'm behave fine, but people just piss me off and always give me problem. So this is one thing. So let me show you again. So I walk in, he go like this, grabbing one here like this and the hand. Okay, this is quite important. The hand and her here. So do I do something? Turn. And then he just slam, and then he start to walk again. Let's go to school. Okay, now his face is already slamming to the goddamn door already there, and you're walking in. And second thing is, you got to get used to get your body in good position. You can't stand up like this. When he push the hand there, you can't go like this, okay? Because see, it's, it's very difficult for you to stand up like this while in line like this. It's because he's lying high so you grab lower your body down a little bit like this okay lower a little bit and sometimes when you grab your arm like this away you go like this see shit is broken so you just you, you already go like this is where it hurt your arm okay and secondly if you want to move it's easier just both hands grab like this the important thing about this is when you control the person how you going to move your opponent from one place to another place okay and tell me below here comment and tell me how you're going to move them you're using the body and then you're going to start to swing them and slam them about or are you going to push them and get rid of them how you going to move your opponent from one place to other Comment below here and tell me because I need to have some new training strategy to helping you. Comment below and tell me about it. Both hand like this, okay? And then just turn. That's it. That's all you're doing. This movement here is very passive. It's not designed to hurt him. It's designed to slam him into object, okay? And this is how to move from one to another places. And you in school sometimes, you get this a lot. Somebody put your hand into the shoulder a lot. You get this a lot, okay? You see? You get this a lot, okay? Now, when your hand here, you grab your weight in a position already, your arm is like into the Wing Chun. If you try in Wing Chun already, you understand in the position of the hand, okay? It's already in place. So soon you're understanding this, your hand, see? 
Okay, so soon you understand it this way, you turn your arm in a right in a place like this. Now, when you have your arm, you got like the put the like the arm like this, grab tight like here. Okay, so it's difficult for him to do the movement. Okay, so you grab him tight first, and your arm can't be right like this. See, if you go on here, so see, it's a bit harder. Yeah, so your arm low, and soon you're here already. You just got to make the turn. Okay, like this. And then you just throw him where you want him. And that's all there is to it. If you like it, and if you love it, and you want to know more, you can go to our website, masterwong.tv, and then you can use in that uh, website here to either talk to me, message me, and you can ask me any question you want to ask me about training, and I will be here to answer you. Otherwise, you can check out our website and spend a little bit of time, look through the website and see what is suitable for you, and then you can start learning and start training today to make sure no one will bully you ever again. So have a beautiful time and have a beautiful day and make sure every day it's your beautiful day. Master Wong here, and I'll see you on next lesson. Out!